Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. I see Prince is here just sleeping away in his gigantic doghouse. <laughs> anyway, we are four in the morning, just the beginning of summer it looks like. Turn the game on here and turn some of these on so we can find everybody. And I had planned on kind of wrapping this series up. That's why we're getting this guy built, another one over here, landing pad, and start the process of finding help out there and sending everybody off planet. Felipe wrote in asking if I would spend some time dealing a little more with the ranching part of it taming some other animals and and exploring that aspect of the game like we have explored the agriculture part of it the farming let's do a little ranching and I was weighing whether or not I really wanted to do that or get the game kind of wrapped up so I can move on to something else when they dropped a an update on me the jungle update and turns out there's a lot more that just got added to the game so things like i guess i can let them do their thing for a bit um i don't know if i can even find anything here there's there are no little stars so it's probably all in research we have to research some new things which umiar is already off and doing um right here camp management we're here to stay, but mere survival is not sufficient. We must come together and establish strategies to remain separate camps. Really, the idea being, we get outposts now. Remember, many episodes ago, I talked about all of the... I'm going to pause, so I don't know what's going on down there. All of the resources over here, and there were a lot of them. We have so much ore in this area. And out over here is a bunch more. Um, out here, seven. There were 40 to 50, I want to say. One time I went through this on my own and just kind of combed the area. But it's a half a day's walk to get up here. And that's really a problem. Click. I guess everything is lit up. Um, getting them from down here all the way up, it would have been nice to have set up some kind of an outpost up here. Well, now apparently we can do that. So there's reason to stay in the game for a while, get the rest of that ore, get more things built down here. I don't know if we have to defend that outpost and this one. Do we need defenses of both places? That I don't know. I guess six hours ought to give them enough time to walk home as soon as we get notice of a bug attack. That's possible. So... In that case, I think we're going to hang around for a little bit. I had 50 thumbnails created for the series. I guess I better create another 20 at least. <laughs> Let's tame some olfins at least and maybe get into something a little more, oh, I don't know, a little more challenging. I don't know what that will be. But it might be kind of fun to have a small herd of these guys around and even a small herd of... Oh, the flatheads. What are they called? Oh, all right here. The Draka. Do we need a couple of, uh, of, of jelly bugs roaming around? How about this area down here might well become more of a ranching, farming, or, or you know, animal area? That's possible. In which case, I want to get this one done. And then we could plant some more of these guys. The mulch tube, which, where is their description? Gradually transforms sand, clay, and silt into loam. Oh, this is, does it tell me? What do I do? Forming, farming, click anything. There, this is infertile soil, so it won't let me do anything with it at all. Hmm, that's too bad. It will let me do things with gravel. And you are all gravel. Okay. I was wondering if I could turn this back into uh, you know, a field, a pasture. Like, here's where our building used to be. Anyway, so that's a possible extension of this series. A reason to continue on. Otherwise, we've done most of the things. We even attacked a couple of bug nests. That was thrilling. 
We could go attack more of those, but just kind of repeating ourselves. But yeah, a little more animal husbandry and an outpost up there and explore what it takes to, uh, to, to, to do that part of the game. And in the process, maybe continue to enhance this guy and make it even better once we finally figure out what its limits are. We still haven't had anything get close enough to see what these things can do. So maybe I built it too well, I don't know. Anyway, let's let this run. Um, Edmund is going to do some last minute constructions. We're rotting things away and more things rotting away. Um, insufficient bricks. Okay, so bricks are a thing. So Umiar was doing the bricks, now he's researching. So I gotta get somebody else to do in the bricks. And it might be easier just to manually uh, uh, assign that rather than redo everybody's schedules. But let's get back into here for a little bit. Well, we, I queued up a lot of poo out there and we don't have time to go get it. So we're gonna have poo alerts all episode long. <laughs> um, research. So we've got the, the ability to make outposts, make different... I believe this throws a flag up into an area and, and you assign the characters to that flag and they will work in and around that flag at that point. Eating there, sleeping there, the works. Reach stimulants, okay. Otherwise we got tool smithing, new. Now that we're here we can create kits that include emergency rations and portable bedroll. So they can go on hikes and go camping and head out there to that, that new region, which we can use for exploration beyond our initial location. Additionally, we can also improve our tools to optimize our efficiency in mining, chopping, and harvesting. So, oh, will that tell me? It'll make a survival kit, harvesting kit, and a good luck charm. Hmm, okay. Uh, bench presses, so more ways to strengthen their physical and probably give them some entertainment as well. We'll need strength to endure this hostile environment while punching poles and mining rocks can contribute to our strength. Nothing surpasses the effectiveness of good old power lifting. An old arcade machine. VR sets, so entertainment choices, umbrellas. So an exact blueprint for making umbrellas was lost through the centuries. <laughs> However, nowadays everyone knows how to craft a slight electromagnetic emitter that repels water droplets, keeping its carrier dry while walking through the rain. So no more I'm wet debuffs. Respirator masks for the, uh, the something fallout, toxic fallout, I think that's what it was called. Um, it probably says here right in front of me. Um, no air quality is perfect. Sometimes it feels like we're breathing through a straw after a workout with a space suit on. But fear not, my fellow face space explorers. We can fashion some DIY respirator masks. I moved my mouse. Uh, using synthetic fibers and space age ore derivatives to filter out the space junk and breathe easy again. Who knew the intergalactic fashion could also save our lives? Is that it? No, we got more. Night goggles, signal flares, grenades. Um, and that is it. Everything else is, was already here. So all these now need to be researched. Camp management being the first. No, I'd say tool, six hours and one day. Tool smithing will be the first. It's just six hours worth. Any other real quickies like that? Um, oh, what do we need here? We need the toolsmithing to do the other ones. They're only three hours each. So we can blast through those real quick. Um, in fact, we'll just leave it and we'll blast through those real quick. Alright, so that gives Umiar something to do. Meanwhile, he's going to go handle a furnace. Does that mean four of them? Umiar? Yeah, and four more. So he's probably going to go do these real quick before he gets back to it. Alright, well that saves having to assign that. Prince is out and about and his food did get moved. Good. It's not the best food, but we don't have any meats right now to uh, go get more. Um, Kana is making more of the suits. She's walking in from out here. Ah, oh, right there. Okay. I want Simon to... In fact, is he ready to go take a trip? He is. Simon, when you're done, 
Why don't you come up and get this stuff? I'm tired of waiting until it finally comes up in the queue. Let's haul carbon nanotubes. And you'll pick up as many as you can carry. Get another load down here for Kana. She's no longer at the convenience of just going out to the porch to get it. That's... Uh, just that one. There we go. What's that called? Ore? Metal alloys. Okay. So that's metal alloys. Yeah, she's down to just this little part right here. And we might be building some fences with that. So Carter is constructing a landing spot. Edmund is constructing a floor. So we're getting this built. We're getting these built. Once that is done, they'll probably want to get this built, which requires a power cell. And we are out of until this gets done. And they are growing quite slow. 57%. Growth rate of 94% because the soil is not perfect. But for some, I guess Rita has been dealing with harvesting. But one of these toolkits has to do with speeding that up. This very thing here, toolsmithing. <clears throat> Alright, there. Optimizing harvesting plants. So she should be able to harvest much faster once we get her equipped. And then she'll have more time to do other things like fertilizing the ground. I was also going to send a solar eclipse. So that is these guys. Solar panels are affected. I was going to send Rita out to... In fact, I probably could. Do we have any buttermelons in stock? We have 40. Where is Rita right now? She is harvesting these guys. Let's have her right now harvest some of these. Otherwise, she's in good shape. She just got a boost. I just saw that go up. Because she's doing what she likes, right? Uh, enough cheerful. Well, I thought it was here. Boy, everything just got kind of blue. The yellow went away. The solar eclipse. Um, she gets a boost when she farms. Or ranch, or I guess farms. Harvests. That's what it is. Let her do a few of these. And then let's send her off. Let's see what new species she's able to detect out there. Um, expeditions. Let's see what new species are out there with this new update. Um, there's the Explorer. Was there not a, a shooting star? That was more of... Time travel only three hours. But this could be a bunch of ore to haul back. So let's send her out to this one. Unfortunately, because I'd like to have her back sooner, but... This is the one that she could do and most likely not be penalized by not having enough physical strength. And it would give her a chance to uh, find out if any of those new species the game's going to allow us to deal with. Or is it just for the jungle biome? Rita, you're going there and you may as well get started now. So do that. And then, Edmund, you are doing what right now? You're constructing oh, some backup shells. So, a place to put things outside if we run out inside. Though I have no way to prioritize it to say, always go to the inside first and then use this as backup. But I guess that's just the way it's going to be. Too bad there isn't a way to get a door out this side. I have to abandon a bedroom to do it. I guess if we ever found another survivor, we would probably do that. Hmm. Maybe right here. Hallway through here. Another couple of bedrooms over there. To make up for the one we're losing and the one we need to gain. That's a possibility. But that's talking about something that hasn't happened yet. So let's not worry about that. Um, so Edmund, that's where I was. Constructing a shelf. Your stats are... You could use some relaxation. So come on in and grab a didgeridoo to to uh, make some music. You need at least one working radio and two working antennas. So there's our new landing pad. Interesting look. Uh, wonder where they got the paint. <laughs> and so we're working on this eventually. Working on this now. That's probably a Carter thing. You are 
heading in to work on the digital radio or orbital radio. Okay, which is in whose bed is this? Umiar's bedroom. Okay, it feels dark. What time is it? It's two in the afternoon. Wow, what a difference. How are these guys doing? They are losing power for sure. But these guys are going to kick on now at 70%, right? Um, does it say... No, it doesn't say there. It says here. They'll kick on at 70%. They are... This is running circuit 1. They are on both on circuit 1. Okay. So when we get down to 70% in here, we're at 85%. These will kick in to assist where these guys have shut down because of the eclipse. Okay, that's good. And I see Rita left while I was jabbering. Okay, Edmund, you probably have done your thing. Yep, you're in good shape. Let's get you going too. You head off to that closer one. Right there, shooting star. Three hours away, you'll be there and back today. Uh, Edmund and send all right so that's done Edmund is on an expedition Carter can finish these do we get the we're about to get the orbital radio controller built and Simon should get the order to clean up all of these uh, supplies on the ground you are rotting away oh apparently he's not getting the orders to do that okay um, Simon, where are you at? Expedition. Oh, so synth plant. So she's already found her first uh, addition to the game. So a plant that has just been added. The strange looking plant is quite strong and it has a dense fiber structure. If cultivated, it will produce cloth looking material. In the process of its growth, the plant extracts most of the nourishment from the soil. This process is reduced will reduce the quality of the soil. Ah, so it's the opposite of these plants, which add to the soil. So really what they're introducing to the game is plant rotation, crop rotation. But it's going to make the same thing as these guys, and we're not actually using these. Did I set you to not harvest? Yeah, not harvesting those anymore, because we're not really using the, uh, the leathers. So they're just sitting on a shelf here somewhere. You are... Synthetic textiles. You are the veggie leather. Yeah, so we've stopped harvesting that. Probably more of it here. Oh, this is the source. 300 of the skin bark. And haven't even processed that. So no point in making that new plant, but at least we got a chance to see it. Um, Carter... I want to get him finished on the projects that we've already started before I start laying anything else out. But, and then I, I think I'd like for him to clean this up. But as far as, there goes Edmund, with his bread, he's eating it. Ah, ah, I've never seen that before. So he was hungry. Um, do we fence off these areas? I don't think so. I don't know. I and mean, we almost have the ability to. Can we run a fence alongside this? I don't know. Wood fence. Why can't I get a copy? Interesting. So I can't click on this and copy. Okay. Uh, defense. There we are. Fence. Wooden fence. So if I were to run you, actually, oh, got to do that again. Farming, yeah, I just saw the star right there. Um, defense, fence, you. Will you fit in there? You will. So I could put that in there. What was that noise? Uh, tool smithing, we just finished researching it, okay. So I could go there and there. Cut right through here. Just run a long fence all the way down and across exactly how see the bigger your encampment gets the greater the chance that a bug attack is going to land within your perimeter so you're instantly attacking what's already inside 
that's a problem. So the further out we go trying to enclose an animal area, the odds increase that they're going to actually be within our area. Um, we could expand what we already have. We could run a fence there and there and pull you out before you become brick. That's a possibility. Like let's let's make that happen. So here to here, I want you guys to let's now let's get that little bit closer. There to there and cancel orders. 19 fences, cancel orders. Okay. So that brought back all that brick. And you as well. Interesting. So you don't have the ability... If you just click on it to do anything. But if you click on many... Now, there. Interesting. If I click on this, I can... How come you can't copy anymore? They took that away from us. You used to be able to click on something and make a copy of it. Ha! Huh. If I want to make another one of these, I can only disarm it now. Now they make you go back into the menu and go from scratch. Bummer. I liked being able to make a quick copy. Oh well, I guess for some reason they chose to do that. Um, we could expand out here a little bit. I'm trying to figure out where to put more animals and get them inside without getting so far away that bugs might spawn right here and be inside which is why I'm hesitant to continue doing this fence let's grab all you and cancel that was a big thunk <laughs> um, let's think about tool smithing so tool smithing happened how do I go about doing it tool smithing um, now that we're here, we can create these kits. Okay, so unlocks. I guess I have to now research them. Is that what it is, or is there a bench that I need? There's no other stars down here, so it's not like another bench showed up. Maybe it's in our crafting bench over there. Uh, respirator masks are three hours, and night goggles are three hours. Where it would be something a little more specific. You need energy crystals. Okay. So there's a three hour, three hour, and three hour. Let's get those just plowed through and, and see what they lead to. All right, there's there. Umar is going to handle three more. So he's going to get another round of these going. And let's see if this is where that shows up. Craft tools. There it is. All right, so survival kit, harvesting tools. Let's get that one going for, for now. Um, let's just do, let's do two of those, and tools, good luck charm made with a, just any random stuff. Okay, what does it actually accomplish? You gain a hundred experience. Is that what I'm getting out of it? Survival kit. <clears throat> Pack together a portable bedroll and set of emergency rations. So we need to make more emergency rations now. We've never had to make them. Um, bedroll, we've never had to make those either. Interesting. Fabric and leather. So emergency or bedroll. Completed a shooting star. Bedroll. Um, camp. Sleeping spot, fabric, bedroll. We've never made those. We went just from the ground right to the bed. So that's what that is. So let's set this to make... Let's make five of these. Craft survival five times. Don't know that all of us would be heading up there for any reason, but it would give some variety. Okay, so we've got an expedition waiting for us. Edmund has, re has reached there. Discovered some interesting rocks where the meteor fell. It'll likely contain ore. Good. So he'll bring back as much as he can carry of that. Um, Rita is still going too. So this is hers. Yeah, Rita, two hours more and she'll get to where she's heading. And we'll see what that opens up. Um, 
So we've got those being produced. He is researching some others. We've got these going. Okay, but not these. Because we just eliminated brick from here. So now we're probably not needing any. Orbital communication, not... Oh, calling home. We just got a, uh, a steam reward or... What do we call those? A steam achievement. So let's put in a brick fence here instead. Fence. Go directly to... That's not a fence. There we are. Directly to brick. And we'll extend you out to here. Respirator masks are done. And we could set those up as well. I'm assuming it's here. So, hats? Not. So, let's try the workbench. Um, craft tools. There it is. Respirator mask. Craft a filtration mask that allows safe breathing during toxic air events and dust storms. We have toxic air, not dust storms. Maybe one of the other biomes has dust storms. So let's do until there are two. That one will, I don't know if they wear out or not, so we'll just maintain a positive supply there. Okay, so that going, click away somewhere there. Hard to find an empty spot. All right, so that's going. We've got this in here. Um, gates, the higher quality gates. I can't copy. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Defense, gates, poles. Um, oh, wrong one. Defense, fence doors, poles. So let's get... Let's see, we can walk through here. This could go away, or this could be a pasture. This could actually be a pasture. Okay. Can the animals go through a small space? Let's pause for a second here. <clears throat> so, bigger animals. I know that some of the biggest enemy bugs will not path through only two spaces because they walk the center and it just doesn't work out. So they will attack a wall trying to get in. Make it three wide and there's a better chance they're going to run your gauntlet. So do we need this size of a gate available in a pasture for any reason? I guess we could put it in as a backup and just keep it closed until we actually find we need it. All right, let's do that. So we'll leave this guy in place until this is done. I guess we can just leave it for good. It just doesn't have to be the uh, bigger size or the, the stronger gates. Um, defenses, fence gate, poles. Since you will be exposing us, we'll do this. And I guess we'll flip it around and put it on an end. Now let's put it where it's defensible. We'll put it over here. Boy, that's quite a noise it makes now when you uh, when you install something. So a man gate, animal gate, and another man gate to get through. Okay, so that's a potential new uh, animal zone. And maybe this comes out and we fence over here and this whole area becomes a bigger animal uh, pasture of some kind. Otherwise, do we tap sideways over here? We've never had any bugs land in this area. That might be a solution. We've never had them land in here, so maybe we just need to make our initial compound a little bit bigger footprint. We could do the same thing, leaving an internal fence and coming out over here for another pasture of some kind. Yeah, it's possible. This is probably going to evolve over the next several episodes as we think about this and you guys send some some uh, ideas my way I see the crash site of a landing pod it looks too old to hope for survivors one visit won't be enough to scout and scavenge it so I'll note the location for future expeditions so go there immediately and you found what landing pod debris scavenged as much scrap metal as I could and found an emergency crate containing first aid kits and antibiotics 
Well done. Okay. So what does that actually open up for us? She is here. Exploration is... Oh, no, it's still there. Okay. And you are eight hours away. Okay. Um, so just a crash landing pod. So we've got cruise ships, spaceships, supercomputers. Where did the military go? Military ship. And we have a landing pod. Okay. Well, she's on her way back. Um, Edmund should be back any moment, right? Less than an hour. Okay. Simon is transporting bricks to get these guys ready to build. And we'll get that done before the next uh, attack. Prince is not doing much. <laughs> um, Eclipse is still happening? I don't think so. You guys are making power? Zero of 20 because it's nighttime outside of working hours, but I think we're done. You can go away. We re research stimulants. So where do we make stimulants? Where would that be? Is that a cooking thing? Uh, the craft bench. Let's see. I've got everything on this one bench. We're not mirroring, are we? We're not. Maybe off camera I'll set up one bench with everything and then mirror it to the other one so that... Uh, maybe the opposite. We'll get this guy set up with mirror over here. So the two can be doing this stuff at once. Um, bandages. Let's see. Just craft. First aid stimulants. Okay. Well, let's say until we have two. Until we have five. So these must come in in larger groups. Okay. So extract stimulants from buzz rooms. Until we have five. Until we have ten. So this will probably be like drinking a cup of coffee. That would be my guess. That in there... Waiting materials for veggie leather. Nobody is really set for crafting. Let's take this down to zero. In fact, let's just pull that out of there. So now the next one in line is pipe, smoke leaf pipe and stimulants. Awaiting a worker. Okay. And that means we probably need to get... Well, Khan is really good at crafting. So when she's done sewing, she drops into assembling and then comes all the way around the horn to get back to crafting. I bet crafting can't be over here. The only way I'm going to get her to do that is to do that and then she won't go to tailoring anymore but all right, let's do that. We'll, we'll change her priority to crafting. Is this our first night or second night? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's our first. We're already half hour into this, but I think it's our first night. We've been I've been doing a lot of pausing and talking this time. So I think it is. We'll go another day. Um, Edmund Diggy back. Okay, he's asleep. And Paulette is sleeping. These are discharging. That's easily 70%. These guys are running. So because we're not gaining any power at night. And we were quite behind. So by tomorrow, we should be like plus 80 all day long, and that should top us off again. The big thing is getting an eclipse when we're getting an attack and needing to power these guys. That's, that's worrisome. Otherwise, what is going on? Boy, there's a lot of animals out here in this, this field, this meadow. I mean, a lot. There's four different species right here. That's because there's no uh, killer chickens. That's what it is. There'd be a bunch of dead animals here if there were. And a bunch of dead chickens. <laughs> yeah, they, they aren't any in this area. So the others have been allowed to... Uh, here we are. You're on the hunt somewhere. Any more of you? Are you the last one of your kind? Sun's starting to come up, just watching him, the, the Gujo. Okay, we got a bunch of ore out here to deal with too. So how much ore did Edmund bring back with him? He brought forty. Okay. 
Did Simon bring back the load? He did, so we got plenty of, of the uh, carbon back. Edmund is up and eating. Do we need to send him back? We could. No, it's eight hours away to where Rita went. Okay, so that's a no. Not necessary. I could get him to work on this guy and get this cleared out if we decide to use this area. I think we can definitely use right in here. We've never had bugs land this close. So we could get into here for a pasture as well. So big roaming range animal here. I don't know. I don't think we can... That's right. There are certain animals we cannot... Um, Tame. Untamable. And these guys, too, right? Untamable. Alright. But these guys we can. These guys we can. Unfortunately, these guys are tameable, too. <laughs> I really don't see any value in that. I just don't. I have that, that chittering noise around the settlement all the time. Yeah. I mean, you could send them out there to fight for you and all that you went through to try to tame them in one battle goes away because they died trying to defend you I'd rather just have the uh, the turrets defend us yeah these can be rebuilt much easier than taming one of those guys otherwise our second day of this episode how is food doing long term? Eight quick meals, two tasty meals, and zero chef meals. Umar has been researching like crazy. Now he's handling a fireplace. So signal flares, night goggles, and grenades. No cued research. So what does that mean for us? Don't think any of those would be in here. Let's go here and craft. So bandages cloth, none of that, tools, there we go, some night goggles, craft a set of infrared goggles that allow accurate and shooting in low level conditions, well, it sure seems like that's an until two, what's it take, it takes electronics and alloy, ooh, okay, and craft tools, uh, signal flares. Set a, craft a set of signal flares that can be manually thrown and will illuminate the surrounding area on impact. Oh. So kind of the same idea as the night goggles. Light something up at night. Though for a lot cheaper. Well, still 20 metal alloy though, but fuel instead of electronics. Grenades. Scroll down. That can be manually thrown. So throwing grenades... I mean, first thought is, yeah, except where are they going to throw them? Going to blow up all of our traps. I don't know how to use those. I don't know what the range is. I can see them blowing holes in fences, and suddenly we're being invaded. Can you control them? Can you determine when they're going to use that grenade and when they're not? I mean, having this structure here throwing grenades out there at bugs coming in that makes sense except once they're here the bugs are just going to come and break this wall down and attack them it's better to have them back here huh well, i think we'll leave our our craft bench priorities where they're set right now um all that done research that one um and these are waiting for for repairs. Okay. We're still short some brick. Oh, because we managed to get these done too. So I think new research stimulants. New resource stimulants. Just made some. Okay, good. Any new message on that? Um, mild drug that increases the movement and manipulation of whomever smokes them. Increases the, the mood of manipulation. So that actually lands in... Where was that? It's been a long time since I've 
set that. Let's click Carter here. Okay, so relaxation items. Stimulants. Short stories and smoke leaf pipes. So they're all turned on automatically. I assume for all of them. Uh, there is copy-paste in here. Okay. So they can all use it. I assume they'll just use it as a relaxation thing, like drinking a cup of coffee. So we'll just see how that goes. Kana is getting more of the... Oh, that's all out here? Oh, she's got them from a shelf. Okay. So, Simon, I need you to do some picking up. We are rotting things away. Simon, what are you doing right now? You are transporting a broken spear, it almost looks like. What are you... What is that? That's a spear, but it's in two pieces. Interesting. Did you just make that? Don't know. But then you are going to unload a refrigerator. Why don't you work on what's left of these, since they're all rotting away. Uh, haul the glitter caps, and how do I deal with you? So you shot... Oh, so your shelf life is 19. Huh. Not much I can do with you. We're going to send the 19 in here, and it's going to make them sick. But they're not eating those. They're using them for these. Right? Let's go back to that. Glitter caps are vegetables. Uh, raw foods. Everything seems to be off. Yeah, nobody's eating glitter caps. I can't keep that open. So they're not going to get sick from that. That's just a matter of restocking our our shroom lamps. Whatever they're called. These guys. Shroom torch. So I guess that'd be fine. So Simon, when you're done with that, then bring in a load of these. How's your stats? Then after that, get some food. But I think you can handle these two just fine. Okay, Rita is harvesting. So harvesting tools. So Kana is making those. Paulette is working on these. I guess I turned it off that one, but not this one. So now, unfortunately, you are an unfinished product. Yeah, or did it cancel? I don't know. I, maybe it just canceled. Because she didn't seem to put anything away. Okay, what's she making now? Paulette? Oh, that would be a harvesting tool. That's what I was wondering. How quickly are the harvesting tools going to get done? Okay, so that's happening. So everybody is back. No attack so far. Our tree line has grown up pretty well. Same with this one. So we've got a little bit of a, of a nice look to us. This is all grown up and matured. These are hay and we have 1100 so we don't really need any of that is there anything else that they oh, look at that Simon took the staircase I wonder if they added that to the update if there's stairs take it no no not planting I clicked the wrong thing Simon I want you to cancel and Simon I want you to haul thank you and let's wait here for a little bit. He's going to hit his max here real soon, and he's taking the stairs. Well, what do you know? I guess enough complaints came in that they won't take the stairs, that they fixed that. Cool. All right, so it wasn't all for nothing, all you naysayers out there. <laughs> and then Carter doesn't take them at all. <laughs> All right. Well, he's scavenging. Good. I didn't even have to tell him to do it. Is he heading to not the closest one? Let's salvage. Salvage. Thank you. Do the closer one. Get that done. What's this got left? Four out of six. So you're doing that one. I wonder if Edmund was set to do that one or something. 
Uh, double click. There you are. No, you're transporting. So you went and did some cut orders. Which means you're going to go and do these cut orders soon too. Which we really don't need because we're tearing our fencing down. Um, boy, it's been a while since I had to look for that. It's just by itself. Okay, wood. So 700. So let's cancel this group here. That's no longer necessary. Um, just trees? Just trees. Okay. So we'll haul in more of the wood that's on the ground, but that's it. So any other cut orders out there? He was bringing in these guys, which would be nice to maintain that. That's our torches and fireplaces and that kind of thing. Um, otherwise, there's these cut orders here. And then that's the end of that. Then he'll be scavenging as well. Except for the fences that I'm starting to set up. Which never got bricks made. So let's deal with that. Umair, what are you doing? You are handling these stoves. Let's instead just stop you right there and have you bake bricks. Gotta get that back fence line done. So work there instead. That's where the hay is going to go. All the bricks. That's right. Okay. So Carter scavenging. Umar is doing that. Edmund, you are still bringing that in. Kana is working on oils. Which means her crafting is all done? I don't know. Or the one bench is done and the other one's not. And Paulette was on it. Maybe that's what it was. Let's see what she does. What she moves over to next. Uh, lost her. There she is. And she's going to do some more. Okay, well, I won't argue that. We definitely could use that so that Paulette can have a better variety of, of things to make. Nobody reset these. Probably not a problem. Simon, you are transporting. You need to eat. Simon likes meat pie. Paulette, you need to make Simon some meat pie. Can you do it? No, we don't have any meat. We don't. So, Simon, your happiness is tanking. Let's get you a buttermelon pie instead. So you do that. And... I need some hunting done. Probably... These guys over here. Where do we want to bring our herd in from? Risk a meltdown, Rita. So there's a nice little family right there we could bring in to tame. So let's do hunting up in this area so we're not taming the ones that are were traumatized <laughs> and saw what we were up to. Now these are large female. They look like babies but large female large female. So they are one stage down. Okay. So let's leave the one male no, you're female as well. Female. Female. So are there no males left up in here? Apparently not. So let's take out the, the four large females. And we'll let all of these other ones grow up. There's a male that's going to take over the herd. Alright, so you hunt. Hunt. You're a 50. No, you're a 40. You're a 50. 60. Hunt. Hunt. 50. 50. Okay. So 350s and a 60 as far as meat. So we'll set those up for hunting. And Carter should get that order for a, a late night hunt before uh, he goes to bed. Edmund could do that right now. Draft, undraft. And he's going to go hunt. Rita, what is with you? She has now... Does she... I see that symbol there. That's the same symbol as, but I don't think she's actually carrying her toolkit. And where where do we stock it? Right there. Tools are going here now. Okay. So she is melting down because she never went and got any food. Okay. Well, you'll clear these out real quick. Your, your harvesting skill is so high. After that, you like buttermelon pie, right? Meat pie. So you're just like Simon. So I guess after that you will grab a... No, don't have any bush fruits. Okay, well I guess you just get grain porridge. Sorry. 
nothing exciting for you, no fruit pies or anything. Because we don't have any berries? We don't. So bush berries, bush fruits. We could have you harvest some of these. Order, harvest, there, there. And what was that noise? I guess that was the harvesting noise. A lot of new noises in the game. Alright, so you are the synth plant. So just get you off the list there. Edmund's hunting. Let's see if there's any new animations in the game now for this. Where is your first target? Scavenge 29 Alloy. Ooh, that was a good run. And is Carter going to be able to get up here in time? He's probably not. Carter needs to eat. There's a shot. Carter needs to eat. So he will not be hunting right now. Good shot, Edmund. Got him. And is he going to go immediately to butchering? No, he's going to continue hunting. Okay, let's stop then. We're, it's too late in the day to be taking out another one. So go straight to butchering. You didn't take any damage, so you're fine. And we'll hunt you guys first thing next episode. So you're going to butcher. Probably leave all the leather behind, but that's probably okay, right? Leather is here. 16 hides and 300... Oh, there's leather. Almost 700 leather down there. Okay, so if we don't bring it in, that'll be fine. Carter's transporting this, and he should drop directly into eating and happiness. He's got nothing planned. Work area is global. So, how do we set up work areas? Do We didn't get to that. So, research, That's we skipped that for all these easy, quick ones. So, camp management is next. Then bench press arcades and VRs. And you are waiting for the power cells and the energy crystals. Okay, so that queues up pretty much all of the new research. You guys were 57, now you're 62. You're going to be a whole other year getting, getting uh, harvested. Which, now I'm glad I went ahead and got the other field going. That was enough to make like 17 or 19 different power cells. So there was quite a bit there. You are transporting the leather dude okay our priority is meat where is that sitting there Edmund instead bring in raw meat thank you <laughs> all right so you have got one left well five and six so two left I'm guessing Simon is picking up little stuffs here and there Kana is still making oils good let's get that maxed out on the shelves. Paulette is cooking meat pie. Finally. Wait a minute. Where'd she get the meat? I don't know. That's still out there. How is she making meat pie? Uh, she hasn't. She's waiting for the one last thing. Okay. Then hopefully she'll go to bed and not make the trip out there to uh, go get it. Otherwise, Reed is going to sleep and recharge for tomorrow. Simon is picking up random things from the area. And Carter went hunting anyway. Great. Um, it's already midnight. Carter, you're not going to be back till 6 in the morning if you do this. Where did that leather go? Just to give your trip a Right there, hides. Right there. Carter, just pull these in and call it a night. Thanks for the enthusiasm, but uh, yeah, not well, not well timed. Otherwise, let you run. And I think we're getting close to the end of an episode. So quite a bit done. Next time we'll figure out how the outposts work. Maybe get up there and set up a uh, beginning of an outpost. See how how we do that. Um, probably an attack coming next time. Maybe we'll find an excuse to send Rita out once more to discover something else that's just been added to the game. 
Otherwise, I think I'm going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.